Mm, here they go. Welcome to Starseed Direct. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome to the edge, baby. Go ahead. You're going to need to put your seatbelt on because it's going to be a ride. All right. I have been MIA for a little while because I've been busy cooking, baby. But I'm going to go ahead and do a quick collective read for you now that I've got some personal things under wraps. Here we go. Leading off the read is the King of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Victory. Grants victory and protection from lightning, propagation of light, confounds the wicked, and slanders. Saves from enemies. Advancement in progress. Teaches, guides, and records events in the Book of Life. Collective, someone can't get enough of your energy. Okay? They're not used to this good prana because they're used to being in toxic connections. But you, baby, you are the light. You embody the light. Your vessel is full of light. And just when they think they've seen it all, here you are. All right? Let's see. Energy of the, of the high vibrational collective. Energy of the high vibrational collective. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Woohoo! Energy of the High Vibrational Collective is the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Swords, darling. Yes, because you're getting clarity now that anything you want literally is yours. Why? Because you move high vibrationally. Wow. You're getting the Ace of Swords and this is clarifying the Nine of Cups, which was aforementioned with the Ace of Swords. So there are two different people here that are getting clarity, that they're both getting wish fulfillment. <laughs> yes, they're getting wish fulfillment. While these comic energies fight amongst themselves, yes. It's like someone tried to rope you and someone else in some kind of drama, and then you both looked at each other and was like, why don't we... uh?" You thirsty? Go get a milkshake or something? It's like you just leave the comics to what comics do, and that's comedy. Yeah, once this uh, Five of Wands set off, someone's going to be in regret. Let's find out why. Mm. Oh, because they could be dealing with hiccups, upsets. Things aren't going to plan. There's also some kind of seed that is meant to be planted in the first quarter of 24 that may now be delayed. Forgive me. I am still kind of in character. I was studying my lines. Let's go ahead and let you look at the board here. Mm. Ah, yes. We have the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Swords again. Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, and King of Swords. Now, if we want to go based off of the context of the actual theme of the Angel Tarot deck, this involves an array of angels that supersede a few different signs here. Not just Aquarius or Scorpio, but also Aries. Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, and mm. that's what I got so far. Because the other water sign that it would represent would have to be someone with the soul signature of an illuminate one. But that person's coming out in the Five of Cups, so it's safe to say that what someone intended to happen to you is going to be happening to them. You have stability in reverse. This person is not in harmony with their self or their guides. And this is causing some kind of hiccup on their plans in quarter one. Mm-hmm. This person may need to retreat as their intentions to cause some kind of conflict for someone is backfiring. All right? 
You got spiritual warfare in reverse. This person in the Five of Cups energy is going to be begging for mercy. But I don't even think you're paying attention. Because you're too busy running your victory lap. Possibly with the news of a new partnership, contract, or commitment. Mm. Well done, collective. 